welcome back to the spot. It's time for us to check out our spot of music today, and it's M.I., Zainab's eternal crush with everything, which Zainab is to him. <laughs> Thank you for that introduction, <laughs> Lamide. Everything I've learned in my life, I could try to sing you a song about how living is strong and how loving is long. You could be a king for a day, the next day be in chains. Live your life, my nigga. Let it in. He's done a song. Okay, it was Lamy's song featuring MI. Right? Lamy featuring MI. Mm, everything. You know, everything. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. MI, the artist. Is this like part two of it? Yeah. I quite mm -hmm. like um, the graphical yeah. content. And, mm -hmm. You know what? You know, everything say, means something. Illuminati. Yeah, they said it's Illuminati, Damn. but it's very detailed, and um, I'd love to sit with him to find out what everything means. I think he'd love to sit with you, girl. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely would. He would. Oh, my God. I like the fact that he tries to tell stories oh. yeah. with mm -hmm. his um, videos, and I mean, tries to be different, think outside the box, mm -hmm. and I know he's... A huge Kanye yes. fan as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can always see influences of that whenever he does like mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. I really hope they get to work together someday, Sha. Well, him and Kanye. Yeah, because I know. I don't Emma, know if both their egos will fit in the room. Emma is I willing to <laughs> bring his ego down for it. Yeah. I know Pretty he sure wants that opportunity. Aldo. I know he'd love it. Yeah. I'm surprised Aldo actually featured in a video, but it's not as if he's. Doing Was he in it? Or just, 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 like, just, I just saw him. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I'm surprised because Aldo is usually quite here yeah, in the background, kind of, you know. Okay, but the yeah. entire team. Mm -hmm. Well, well, now that um, Ice Prince is um, left, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I wonder what... Who's the vice president now? Yeah, Maybe how Jesse? that changes the dynamics of the entire corporation. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he says he's left for a bit, so I guess he's been running pretty well. DJ Lambo. What, what I... I'm always confused about is are all loopy artists now under Chocolate City? Mm -hmm. All of them? Yeah. From what I understand, and I, if I'm wrong, please correct me. Um, but from what I understand, yes. That's a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. but I'm is. really looking forward to the thing. The things I'm looking forward to most probably are um, the alternative sound. Because a lot of the, the loopy artists are, they're not the most they are quite pop, alternative you know what I mean? anyway. And Ruby Gang. Please, her album, I'm ready. My whole life is ready for it. Wow. No, she's just, I think she's amazing. I think she's too amazing not to have had a whole bunch of... That's Price, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's Price. So, yeah. That's uh, everything. It's a lot. <laughs> it is. I but I like you, that you, keep you have your, to sit and pay attention, attention to this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but we love it. We love MI anyway. Yes. So. C pounds and dollars. <laughs> C pounds and dollars, really, let me do it. <laughs> Sorry, but. Okay. Dangerous All right. Well, yes. Well done, MI. Well done. It's time Very for interesting our guest. video. Yes, it is. Who's our guest? Who's our guest? Oh. Uh -uh. Um, <laughs> Are you no, with I us? You said today? who's our guest. I said, uh huh. You said, oh, like, yeah. okay. So, yeah, our guest is coming into the house. Um, he's not been here for three years. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, he was actually our second guest. Yeah, ever. Ever. <laughs> Penguin. On the spot in 2013. Wow. Yeah. They should do like a screen, a split screen. Let's see how, I know. how much Things weight he has changed. added. Yeah. He got darker, he's bleached. Should I don't I, know. We, we should probably play the same game with him. That to we see what the last <laughs> oh exactly. Oh my God, Pelican. Pelican. I will never forget. Pelican, Pelican, Pelican <laughs> Brief. Yeah. I will never forget. Yeah. Um, <laughs> he's many things. A producer, he's a filmmaker. Yep. He's a channel head now, I think. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but he'll come back, come in and explain things to us better. Please put your hands together for Katung Aduak. Hi, Katung. Yes, yes. Madam, I put hands together for myself. Hey, Hi. Madam, Hi. Madam, I put my hands together like this now. Like How are you? I'm gay. Madam, what's up? Hi. How are you? I'm good. Good. Have a seat. I'm going to take this one. Up. Okay. <laughs> I know you guys are in really me. funny mood today. <laughs> How are you, Katung? I'm okay. What's popping? I'm moist. What's new? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. In your soul or elsewhere. But, but, well, but you know nobody says that thing on TV. Was I wrong? No. I don't know why anybody would but say. I don't know when souls became started becoming moist. Moist. <laughs> <laughs> Zainab's was. So that's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> very dry. Would you ever wake kids? Why? Why kids? 
kilt is sexy. I think you would look good in a kilt. I don't want to kill flies. <laughs> <laughs> That perch, that was that perch clearly, is clearly was swinging <laughs> in on the show before he came in. I, my first major question for you is, when is your movie coming out? Um, Heaven tell. Talk about the movie first then. Okay, first of all, my benefactors are kind of in trouble. You know, with the change government, people yeah. are being investigated. So everything oh that they put their hands into, I'm not going to call their name right now, mm -hmm. uh, is being investigated by oh. the EFCC oh, wow. and all. So, you are not being investigated? I'm not being investigated. Okay. But, but, thank God. <laughs> yes, but uh, they... Um, uh, I mean, the 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 major benefactors. Film has been ready for like what two years. Yeah, because yeah. I remember you were yeah, yeah. ready to go, but they've, they've they've been back and forth with the EFCC. You know, okay. over about the twenty nine billion naira fraud. Oh my gosh! I, I, didn't, get, I, know, I, didn't, I didn't get up to one percent. My spirit <laughs> is weak. Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> I was going to say this. You would, have, you, know, I, you would have known. Huh? No, you know, you would have known. You would have been in the FCC. Yes, that was, <laughs> <laughs> that's how we would have known. They'd be like, we invited like Katun, but unfortunately, <laughs> our men FCC. came to get him known. But I've decided to move, as in, I've decided to move on from that and not allow that like uh, hold me down. Yeah. Uh, it's been very depressing because loads of people put work into it, like a lot yeah. of work, like yeah. real good work. And I know you were very excited and passionate about yeah, it. Yeah, real good work, you know, and just who knew that uh, I was excited to get money to do something and then the money backfires. Yeah. yeah. You know, but I mean, yeah. the good thing is he's doing really well at festivals. We won about oh, 11 best. Film and, and at, uh, from 17 film, film festivals. Nice. That's awesome. Best actor, best. So, I mean, those accolades are piling up yeah. for when the release happens. Oh, yeah. well, congratulations that on is. that. At yeah. the very least, that's good. But that's you're good. still, I mean, besides that, you've, you're involved with this channel, actually. Yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I saw you on TV, I was like, what? Somebody <laughs> squeezed my hand and made me act. <laughs> yeah. On Desperate Housewives. Yes. <laughs> I will wait for season two, man. I need to call them <laughs> <laughs> well, That was your first time, right? Yeah, my first time acting. Um, I did a cameo in my movie when a doctor that was supposed to show up didn't show up because okay. uh, of traffic. So I just said <laughs> one word and mm -hmm. I hate myself for it. Yeah. But uh, then I did Desperate Housewives and everybody just kind of just said I used to be like that in my past. My oh, past. I see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. No, but not true, though. <laughs> We're going to go on a quick break. Mm -hmm. um, when we come back, we have our topic of the day coming up for you guys. So stick around. Don't you go anywhere on the spot. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching the spot. Remember to, to follow the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, via email, and um, we always love to hear from you. It's time for us to get into our topic of the day, but we do have Katsung Aduak in the house, filmmaker, amongst many other things. You Wait. What, what do you I do with... I have a with? question. Okay. Sorry. So you do a lot of things. You're also kind of... I can still call you a newlywed. Call him a what? Newly. Yeah, no. if you're less, you than, new, you're less than three years, years no, less than three years, they say no, it's newlywed. He's not newly married. Three, newly married. He'll be three? Yes. Oh, yeah. God. That's a newlywed. They say if it's less than three, it's newlywed. <laughs> no. Nah. Okay. Yeah, but he's around them. Well, they haven't lived with us for three years, so they, that's why you can call it newlywed. <laughs> <laughs> so How's that going settled, though? Yeah. Oh, no, that's, 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 that's amazing. Yeah. I can't How say anything otherwise. Huh? You can't How do you say anything juggle? otherwise. <laughs> I wow. Every, every, everything. Being a husband and, you know, You know, and working career. and just, you know, career. How's that working? Being out? a husband is 90% of it. The rest is 10%. Aww. No, That's really. such a good answer. I'm sure she'll be happy. Someone's going to be so happy today. <laughs> she's like, oh, he's so sweet. <laughs> We're going to get moist. Yeah. But you're so good. <laughs> Okay, it's that episode, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> that's what it is. Oh, no. Yeah, but you also have a 9 to 5 and besides of all of this. Yeah, I actually have, it's, it's such a long title, Senior Channel ba Manager, MTV Base uh, for Rest of Africa, and then Senior Creative Director for the Viacom Networks. That's Nickelodeon, BET, Comedy Central, uh, <laughs> MTV, MTV Base. Help your, help your guy. Who you help? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I, 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 will, I will call it 9 to 5 because of what it looks like, but it's not 9 to 5. Yeah. I'm there to, sometimes till 10. I'm, uh, I, I get called out in the middle of the night to uh, something's going on, on the channel or something's going on, on this platform. So it's not 9 to 5, it's 24 24. Mm. That looks like a lot of work. Yes, it is. It really is. I thought, enjoying it? Yeah, I am. I'm more of a field guy uh, in production, but now they've turned me to exec slash field, field guy, which is kind of hard to juggle, but, but it's interesting <laughs> to know that I can one day resign and go and work for 
a big company because I've become excellent. <laughs> <laughs> and this is just yeah. that the CV is getting better. But I mean, it's it's really exciting. It's it's it's, it's good stuff. Really. Nice. Okay. Well done with everything. It's time now for us to, like I said, discuss our topic, and it's something <laughs> I know you're very familiar with. You are Says quite versed. You are quite versed. In, this in which topic. part is he versed in? Because the topic is booze yeah, for tell boys. Me. So okay. is it the booze or the not uh, and boys. Four boys. Four boys, yeah, that's what He's I'm saying. Best in the booze part. I don't give booze to boys. He coached me. In drinking? I'm, and I've still not done him proud because he's still like way up there. Says so the guy on the billboard <laughs> saying, Are you the man? Says <laughs> <laughs> so the guy. What is wrong with you? <laughs> the guy will play with you, small. He's a boy. <laughs> nah, what, you used to. Uh, <laughs> in what context are we talking about this? I'm basically talking about how it affects friendships with other boys relationships, your interaction with the opposite sex. Okay. Just generally. How booze you know, is a if Sometimes tool. it's also a competition. How much? Yes, yes, You know, yes, stuff like yeah. that. I did, I did hear once that someone say that if he did weed, he probably would have had more friends than he does now. If he did weed? Okay, because yeah. weed is like Because it's like a social, social... I'm not saying go do weed. Mm. Please, <laughs> please but, don't but go. His, his explanation I, was more. I think you know, I agree if you want to do that. the weed or whatever they want to do, you find out that people go they into go that out, circle, they leave, and yeah. then they bond and all of that. It also happens with booze, yeah. where you find that maybe you're friends with certain people because of yeah. the fact that you hang out after work every evening. I feel like weed does that to you a lot more. Yeah, yeah, there's, I know. There's, you know there's a stronger strength. Let's, I, let's, I don't know this. Let's not talk about it. But. I think weed has a habit of like stringing relationships yeah. together. Like I, I see people wow. who literally they'll have go no they'll go out to friends. an event. They have no business being friends. <laughs> yeah. They'll go out to an event and be like, oh. And another one does look like this. Should we? Okay. Mm. And then they disappear. Then I'll be like, I'm just. Then I'll be like, 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 then I'll yeah. So where's your friends, friend. Abby? So what you kind of friends like, do you have? You have some kind of widow meter. Is that, I, I have friends who literally... Is I that what brought you and those friends things. together? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not no, going to admit find that, I find that I find that the kind of closeness that booze gives you is actually very fake. You fake? Know, yes, because you see that people, after they've booze one, two, the next thing they loosen up, next thing they start telling each other stuff. By the next day, everybody's back to... oh. Right. Yeah, it was just it was just it was, it was, it was, it was just the, the booze talking. It was the booze. But talking. what if it happens over time? If it's if you have a drinking circle that goes on for I don't know, I've had one that went on for quite a while, two or three years. You were inside. <laughs> so we're gonna go on a break now. Uh, when we come back, we'll, we'll find out more from Katung what his experiences are with booze, boozing with the boys. We'll see you guys in a moment. <laughs> Welcome back to the spot, guys. We um, still have Katung in the house talking booze for boys. For boys. What have you been doing there? I've been. Oh. No, I'm just asking. <laughs> oh, you, know she's, like, you know she's. You know she's about to drop you out. <laughs> oh. no, I was making us granola and yogurt, but since you have questions, you can chill and be there. There's no they drop off. It. It's, it's, it's of fermented dough. No, you better I make do like, what I got. Cause I feel like if I. This topic is not for me because anything I say is just going to make me look like an alcoholic. Okay, let me ask you something. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a problem with, thank you very much, with being in a relationship with someone who tends to spend more time with the boys boozing? It doesn't make him an alcoholic. He doesn't mean he's an alcoholic. Okay. But he, has, he likes to hang out. Me. Oh, we're going out for drinks. Do you feel, is it a problem for you? Oh, that they go out for drinks? No, Often. No. Not really. If it's so 80% to 20%, we're not in a relationship, you're... So long we're as just, he's not coming, it, there isn't a problem. No, but, but, there isn't but, something for me to worry about. Like, you find that it, it, it goes on a lot. In, in I mean, space. but that's what everybody does here. That's it how go, we it cope. It goes on a lot. But that's how we cope. That we booze it up. Yeah. <laughs> we, I don't booze that's it up. That's how I've been coping in the last, Listen. like, years. There's traffic. You <laughs> there's traffic. Red, red wine. Mm. Red wine. I, mm? You know? No, 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 it's true. There's traffic. You need to booze. There is, um, there's no fuel. You need to booze. There's no light at home. You need to go out. You need to go out and booze. You know, and then there are connections, deals are made over booze. You yeah. must booze. Yes, you must booze. Mm, okay. So I, I don't see why. Yeah, I wish I could call a name and appear on a billboard some, 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 as well. But, um, but you've been on a billboard. 
Yeah, but that's, that's gone now. I'm looking for a new one. How come you, you don't have a, a problem with things like that? I know, I know someone who has actually, I think it's actually IK, mm -hmm. who doesn't do anything with brands that are alcohol, alcohol related. Okay. Because of his, I don't even know if he's religious, but he just doesn't want or doesn't, his image? Uh, th those associations are not necessarily for, for him. Do you have a problem with things like that? She has too much money. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know there are artists who do have um, alcohol related partnerships that, you know, everybody within the industry knows that. They don't drink. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so you don't even have to drink. You don't even have to drink. Mm -hmm. It's just what your brand does for you. Yeah. Everything. The thing is, maybe your brand message probably kind of is aligned with what the Bulls brand message is trying to say. Yeah. So you don't have to drink. Yeah. People get it wrong. People think that because, yeah, she, for instance, now they would think this guy is an alcoholic, even though we can't say he is or not on TV right now. But <laughs> <laughs> you get, but I mean, there's something, and look, it says, now nah, you be man. Back I actually feel here. like. Your alcohol intake is kind of relaxed. Because I think about the days in Calabar. <laughs> Ibuka used to drink quite a fair bit of where, different where things. Where did you call it? Hmm? In Calabar. Exactly. So things have changed. There's nothing else to do. And he's, you know. in, he's, he's a newlywed now. He just yeah, so, so he, he doesn't have to lose. calm down a little bit. <laughs> so, so he doesn't lose the new <coughs> acquisition. <laughs> if we can call it that. <laughs> he has to watch it. He has oh, yeah. to watch it. But I find that booze, actually, well... Yeah, it keeps the boys together. Why is it so unattractive for a woman to be a boozer? It's, uh, uh, this question it's is unattractive. It's about me. For who? To who, exactly? To who? Like, well, it's kind of frowned people. upon. Like, it, For who? a guy who General drinks society, a lot. No. General society. You can't you, be it's like, an, yeah. It's you can't say, so oh, on. you really, well, I find you know, that. I like drinking or, you know, I drink often and so mm -hmm. on. You, people ah, look you at you drink? and think, ah, mm. you know, you're a woman. It's, it's okay. not something that a woman should do or, um, you know, you should be restricted to certain types of drinks and so on. But people actually look at you in an odd manner. Like there, there's a double <laughs> standard. And, and I they say do. this because yeah. I talk about, you know, drinking. I, I don't have a problem. I promise you guys I don't have a problem. I do actually. <laughs> That's what they always say, but they um, really. Look, I have a verse you know, a, a diverse palette for alcohol. I drink <laughs> oh, pretty much. Wow. I you know, you're making English. worse for yourself. I can drink English pretty much too. anything. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, to chill and de-stress, whatever, I might have a drink or so on. But that doesn't, if I say that to a guy, or well, some guys that I have said it to, they've looked, they've kind of given me the side eye. Like, yeah, it's just cause well, because it does, people are hypocrites. That's really It really goes to show the kind of guys you hang out with, though. <laughs> yeah, <that's>, wow. <laughs> That's one. And secondly, I, you know, I find that a boozy woman is a great woman. Because <laughs> you, guys, you guys will relate on the same level. And for those that you are not married yet, you can things just you. tend to just write out their own cause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 As in, what's the sentence? <laughs> what is, the what sentence is happening? Is, okay, look, it just makes it... Let, 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 me, let me tell you how, how it is. Mm -hmm. A boozing man and a boozing woman is just like a woman wearing a skirt and a guy wearing a kilt. It's easy. Okay. Zena, that is not me. <laughs> you said that's not I, me. I, I no, don't I'm, wear I'm, skirts. I'm only saying one of the perks. One of the perks. One of the perks. So Zena, is that why you drink? Mm-mm. The, <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, the other perk is that um, you guys relate on the same level. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody... No one's too uptight. Uh, yeah, it kind yeah, of exactly. feels, yeah. Everybody's uptight. I get that. You know Although, you know, first of all, I just want to uh, just say, yeah. though, mm -hmm. we all know that alcohol and the senses, it's an inhibitor. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you get into woman and man matter, mm -hmm. it, the lines can get very, very murky. Mm -hmm. So that's one of those things. We'll talk about those lines. Let's go on a quick break. Let's do that. Yes. Um, we'll be right back <laughs> after this with more talk on the spot. We'll see you guys in just a moment. Welcome back, guys. You're still watching this spot. We're talking booze for boys today, and Katung is in the house. And I'm going to ask you that today because since Zainab is a drinker, I guess the question doesn't apply to her. But if you're if you're dating someone, a relationship with someone who likes to drink and likes to hang out a lot, and isn't willing to stop, mm -hmm. you know, having time with the boys, mm -hmm. and it becomes a situation where you have to start hanging out with him mm -hmm. and he's okay with that would you then start doing it start drinking 
or just start hanging, hanging up. up. I mean, no, but you I have can't be around them every time. I'm dating people Sprite. who enjoy a, a, a tipple. I just, I'm just the designated driver, or just make sure that please don't go and kill yourself or somebody on the road. But I don't, I don't, I don't think it's a problem unless it's a problem. Like when you can see that, that they can't function unless With they do yeah. it. Otherwise, we're all grown ups. It's the day that you decide to tick me off. <laughs> we do you believe in the term functional alcoholics? No. Yes. Mm -mm. Okay, she said, young yes. girl, a girl. As I do. They don't have to get, that's the thing with a functional alcoholic is they don't need to get sodding drunk, but they, they're the ones that have a bottle of gin or whatever it is in the drawer at work mm -hmm. and underneath the alcoholism car seat. Alcoholism is alcoholism. And stop. There's no, this, there's no level. Mm -hmm. It's hmm? just one thing. No. Let's not try and make it seem like... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not saying it's worse, but good. It's actually worse, <laughs> no, I feel. No, no, That's what I'm you, 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 you need it to cope. You know, like someone says, oh, there's a deadline. And then you go, you just go into your drawer and you take a tip or you have a, what you, what, the flask the yeah. in yeah. your yeah. jacket yeah. and you, you, you know, sweet. that's it. That's the flask. See, you own a flask. You always want a flask. You always want a flask. Come on, buy one. Okay. Honestly. So if you date someone who doesn't drink at all, who doesn't drink, I'll be yeah. okay with that. It just means that I'm gonna be the one rolling into the house sometimes, a little bit excited <laughs> <laughs> with my short skirt. Oh my God. <laughs> They're like, hey, it was a great hey. night. <laughs> hey, girl. That's you know, all it whatever. Means. Um, <laughs> but I, I just can't, I, I can't date somebody who isn't very sociable, like who's like yeah, but super you can be introverted. Because I'm, I'm a, I'm, a, I, I feel like I'm a perfect mix of introvert extrovert mm -hmm. do you find that it's different mm -hmm. hanging out with boys drinking and girls oh very different oh yes i've learned a lot from yep my boys what do you prefer ah the boys there's a lot of knowledge there <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's knowledge for me knowledge. There's knowledge <laughs> my grandchildren <laughs> my my great grandchildren like i Things that I can apply she to my knowledge. life. Yes. <laughs> and I've noticed that whenever I hear about a girl's night out, it always ends up with some emotions or somebody fought somebody. It's always or, the same it's always kind of drama. Mm. So you're all sitting to, there, mm. one person is trying to make their boyfriend jealous, and yeah. then you're, you're crying, and then whatever. Like, <laughs> sorry, is it? Oh, whereas, when was this? <laughs> whereas <laughs> with the boys, like, you learn the values of why maybe the guy didn't call you back, or like, you mm -hmm. just learn things. Yeah. Mm. Like, <laughs> you all know, but look, let me tell you, right? Like, listen, and, and you ladies, this is, this is actually a real life thing, like, where I've been out with, like, my, some guys, and yeah. like, y'all ladies just don't know. Y'all don't be knowing, though. Like, <laughs> y'all just need to know. <laughs> <laughs> like, what do we need to know? You need to know. Like, listen, y'all just can't be messing around. Like, listen, and if you're, like, there's a system. And you're if, like, you, girl, if you're tight, like, if you're super, but then you get super tight that they don't hide anything from you, you get to the yeah. nitty gritty. Like, yeah. they explain to you how, if you say to your, your boyfriend, oh, you know, babe, I'm really, like, upset. I'm, I'm pissed with, you know, what you did last night. They help you translate that into man language. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just... I see the other side of things. I see the other side. But like, you know what, though? Wow. It's bad with booze and boys. If you're around, if you're around the wrong kind of boys, kind of boys, there's like the you know how there's different kinds of drunks. There's handsy drunk. There's talkative drunk. There's emotional drunk. If you've ever been around <laughs> an, an emotional, an emotional drunk, boy yes. that's drunk, I know. Don't oh, <laughs> it makes you want to die. You're just like, oh, I just wanted to. I just wanted to. I was trying to tell. <laughs> okay, choose one. Shut emotional up. drunk, handsy <laughs> drunk, or. There's Choose one to do what to kill. Right, to yeah, you know, if you have to have a drunk, that <laughs> talkative. I'd rather talkative, talkative drunk. Because mm. emotional drunk, I'm just like, oh, shut up. <laughs> He's killing my heart. And if you, if you're, if you're handsy, then someone, there's gonna be violence involved because mm. I'm gonna punch <laughs> you in your throat. And that's okay. about it. Yeah. So join what me. What kind of drunk are drunk. you? <laughs> 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 what kind of drunk are you? I'm not a drunk. Whatever. What kind of are you? I'm. I, I think know. you're a subdued kind of drunk. Yeah. You don't talk a lot. I get calm. I laugh a lot. Oh, actually. I laugh even more. That time that we saw him in the just club, hear small music. standing on the chair. Mm. Okay. Once I hear small, oh yeah, that's, they do with the bus that's brain. That's the end. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, gone. that's true. Mm -hmm. So that means there's there's also the dancey drunk. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what kind of drunk are you? Oh, that's what I am. I'll dance from here to Africa, from here to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm moving. You're going to be dancing. You know? Yeah, and then when I just see it better, pass out. That's it. Okay. What kind of drunk are you? Um, I've seen all kinds of drunk, so just choose wisely. Yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like I'm. Correct. I feel like I'm a dancey kind of drunk. Don't you agree? But you run the gamut. Drunk. Oh yes, I do talk a, a fair bit. I do. I apologize a lot. 
<laughs> don't I? <laughs> I say sorry. She I just rolls out of things. Like, like she, like, yeah, we've been yeah. through a few things together. <laughs> I roll a lot of things and I apologize a lot for so my does that, does, that, does that mean you hold I'm, things I'm back conscious. so you're drunk and then you just pour your heart out? That's almost emotional, borderline. Mm, I don't pour my heart out. No. I just apologize for my behavior when yeah, I'm drunk. A, I'm, I'm like, so, I'm really I'm so, so, sorry. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I hate to do stuff. I'm, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. She's rolling out. We know you've drunk already. Yeah. But um, just to put a disclaimer out there, we're not encouraging drinking. No, we're not. Please only drink when you're what, 18 and above. 18 and above. Please. Yeah, above and, and drink responsibly. Do not responsibly. drive when you drink. Mm -hmm. Even when you're 18 and you're 12 at heart, please don't. <laughs> so there's some people like that. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I have a few friends who, by the second glass, <laughs> 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 Now yeah. they're looking for people to help carry on. Yeah, they're very heavy. <laughs> but how do you deal with those ones though? Because they're so excited to go. I there. like Let's the sleeping go. ones. It's okay. Let's go ahead. At least just pass yeah. out where you are. Let's not be looking for you. That's why uh. I just roam away. <laughs> there are some people that there are some, there are some people that just uh, their alter ego just comes out mm. when they drink. It's like it's like their their what do you call them? A bipolar or. What do you call multi, multi split, oh, split personality? Oh, split personality or multiple personality. personality. Yeah, as in they drink and then. It's a different person. It's a different person. Mm. And, and the next day, everything. I had a friend like that. Had. And the next day, they will not remember, remember a thing. I don't believe that. I believe they remember, but they are ashamed. Not really. I had, sometimes I, I used to have a friend who was very quiet, extremely nice. Whenever he drank, honestly, he becomes this wild, extremely confident bloke. Like he can talk Same to bloke. your mother mm -hmm. and ah. toast her. Wow. <laughs> And the lady is like, where? We went where? Yeah. <laughs> That's the kind of guy you want to give a drink crazy. before you guys go for a presentation. Uh, <laughs> because you'll kill it. <laughs> I'm going to choose the MDO. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have to go on another break, guys. When we come back, we might be playing a game, maybe. And we'll find out more about the topic with Katum. So please stay with us. Welcome back. You're still watching this spot. Hopefully you've been having fun along with us, but also taking the important lessons, guys. Don't drink irresponsibly. Please do not drink and drive and all that other stuff. Okay. <laughs> so it's that, true. What are you doing? Let's what not are you go doing? and encourage bad, bad things. If you must drink, don't drive. If you no, must drink, yeah, don't drive. If you must drive, don't drink. Don't drink. Yeah. Well, drinking, oh, drinking, drinking I'm like designated driver person because I'm the one that goes out with like my friends and when I don't really drink, so... I tend to be the designated driver. What is not really? I might have a glass of something, but if yeah, I, especially if I know that, um, if I know that everyone is out to have a good time, then I for sure will have like maybe a glass of one thing and that's it because I know I'm driving. Do you believe you should have a drink with breakfast, lunch, dinner? <laughs> <laughs> no. This one has wine by eight, seven, eight, seven eight. <laughs> A glass by seven. Do you not drink because you don't enjoy it or you just feel, feel like the you need, like, like you said, to be the designated driver or you just don't enjoy uh, drinking no i don't mind it i just i want i mean it's also a personality thing i like to be in control i was gonna say so that there are people I who don't, don't want to be seen yeah mm, i don't want state. i don't i don't like to like look crazy out in public or whatnot <laughs> so a, i mean I don't mind how it. many times have you you've never seen me drunk have you seen me drunk unfortunately no <laughs> What There's not many people that can say they've seen you me drunk. Do, There's probably like five drink. people that say they can see me drunk. And they like were all in the just, same place at that same time. She's going out somewhere. Like, like, she really doesn't, she I'm doesn't, very polite. As a, she I was like, oh, excuse me, I need to go because I, I feel like I need to throw up, so I'm just going to go. And then I go, and then I come back. <laughs> like that, very polite. I must really hate control. <laughs> many people have many stories. Many people have many stories. But I don't think, I'm not one of those people who doesn't drink but judges people who drink. Like, if you want to have a good time. It's your business. It's your liver. It's your business. It's not right. mine. So she went there. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's like, she's like, no, we're all grown-ups. <laughs> we're all grown-ups. Like, we all know our levels and our limits and whatnot, but I don't think it's bad if you want to go out and have some, some booze. I'm, I'm cool with it. It's like, whatever. You know, funny, I was talking to somebody yesterday, and she said for the last 11 years, she has never gone a day without drinking. Hmm. Oh, yeah, that, she was just... She, and she, so she's one of those ones who carries like little bottles everywhere. As in, okay. She said she has not gone a day without drinking. Hmm, she that's needs, interesting. I have, she needs I have help. a friend who passed away. It's not, and it was a girl as well. Like it's not something you should. You might even know her, but of course we're not going to talk about her name mm. here. In Abuja, you know, she was like the champion in my university. Like the champion. We always mm. say if there was a drinking competition in she Nigeria, she would win it. She would go for University of Abuja because she was there. And she passed away like three years ago. Hmm. 
you know. So, I mean, while we're all having fun and mm -hmm, enjoying, mm -hmm. like we said, I mean, it's nice to make friendships from there. Also be very sure of, about your health. And check, yeah, yeah make yeah. sure you because check too. truth is, the way this generation has been drinking Overdue. and is drinking and will continue to drink, I mean, Nigeria, we're making Guinness Book of Records because of the amount of booze that's being yeah, bought. I mean, mm -hmm. things are, our dad's drunk over a year. We'll be doing a day now. Yeah. Mm. I'll tell you a story. So, you know? my uncle was in town and we went to go have lunch. It was maybe, excuse me, it was maybe, I don't know, 3 p.m., something like that. And we were sitting down having um, our meal. The next to us was a table of two guys, no, three guys, and they had a full bottle of... Uh, uh, Brandy. Whiskey or brandy, whiskey or brandy. Mm -hmm. It was almost full. It was 3 p.m. We left that place to four, and that bottle was almost empty, and they had ordered another one. That's In one hour. In one hour, and it was three guys. And he just, and my uncle said to me, ah, what's this? He, this said, what? he, said, he said, these people don't have anything to do with their lives. You like, ask them the exam. <laughs> do you understand? Like, it's, I mean, there's some 3 p.m. that are like that, but there's, not every day. <laughs> <laughs> It's a problem. She said, I can't even talk because she knows she has been there at 3 p.m. No, before. I have not. <laughs> I have not. But you know, to go out and sit at, at 3, 3 p.m. on a, you know, it's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday and just in less than an hour finish a full bottle. Well, to be fair, maybe they work the night shift, you know, and that's the time off. <laughs> it's not to be fair. We're damaging ourselves, but yeah, I mean, we are. yeah, it's, it's one of those things that's a little bit crazy. Yeah. yeah. But if you must oh. drink. Drink beer, drink a bottle or two a day is actually not bad. Oh, okay. It's actually been proven to be healthy. Okay. I know wine. Red too. wine. Red wine, a red glass wine. of red wine. See yeah. what I'm saying? For the heart. You secure the second year of his endorsement. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is not even me. No, being, I, I, yeah, right. A bottle of beer is actually very healthy. It's wheat. Most of what yeah. is contained in beer is actually healthy stuff. Yeah. It's okay. like 90% water. Mm -hmm. You know, but of course, like with food or anything, when you overdo it, it's mm, not good. You run you around. All right. Well, Katun, thank you so much for coming over. We've had a great chat with you. That's not his name. Pronounce your name. My name is Katun, and I'm sad we didn't play drinking. Katun. Talking about Katun. Katun. We did now. Thank you I so much for coming, <laughs> guys. We have to say bye for now. Thank you for watching, and remember to drink responsibly and stay safe. We'll see you guys another time on the spot. Bye, bye, guys. Call me exposing your knees. Not signing the wallet. Cover it up. You know, Cover it up. 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 Cover it did you know? <laughs> no, I, I just remember that he was very, he never really used to drink much. Yeah. Yeah. Here's your money seen, back. You ever saw you really take it? Yes, I did! I'm <laughs> <You'd be> shocked. <laughs> I didn't know. Like, he was, he was he peeking out your pocket. Your eyes, just watching him. Okay, guys, let me put my, put my day job now. Okay. <laughs> but before you go, let's take a selfie. I'm so worried. But first... Okay, there we go. Oh, I'm so pretty, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great job, time. Okay, great job, time.